Hi everybody, welcome to today's workout. Today we're going to be doing a full body workout. What you're going to need are a light set of weights, starting with maybe a three pound or five pounds, and a mat because we will be getting down on the floor. So go grab those and let's get started. Hi and welcome to today's workout, woohoo! We're gonna be doing a full body workout. You need a light set of weights, three pounds, five pounds, whatever works for you. And we're going to get started by warming up. So I always like to start with these big arm circles, warming up the arms, the shoulders, right? They get so tight from sitting. We're gonna stretch everything before we get started. So let's take a couple more forward, and now we're gonna take it to the back. So let's reverse those big arm circles and really feel them, right? Don't go fast, go slow. Feel those arms stretching. Feels good, right? All right, maybe you wanna take one arm at a time. It's like the backstroke. We're almost swimming. Great, all right, great job. One more each side here. Now we're gonna take it into what I call chicken arms. So we're gonna come here, or chicken wings. And we're just gonna go forward, really, really stretching out those shoulders. Even the upper back, right? Really feel that movement of the stretching. Feel your body. Good job. All right, let's take it backwards with those chicken wings. Here we go, good. All right, everything's starting to loosen up. Maybe roll your neck around. All right, good. Now we're gonna take our arms out to the side. We're gonna cross over and then switch the arms. All right, so here we go. We're gonna cross. Now we're stretching out the, still the arms and the chest. A lot of us are sitting all day in the car. We really need to take the time to do this stretching. Good. All right. Boom. Good. Keep it going. A couple more here. Okay. Now we're going to take it into some, I call them hip swirls, circles. Really great to just start with loosening up those hips. So we're making a nice circle. Swirls, sexy swirls, okay? Right, taking out any tightness that might have accumulated here. That's it, it's kind of mimics hula hooping. We might be hula hooping at one point, ladies. Okay, and now let's switch it to the other direction. Can you already feel your hips starting to loosen up? Great. I know, it's really, really important. You never just want to, boom, start exercising. Okay, a couple more swirls here, and then we'll come to the center and stop. Now, maybe you want to um, hold on to a wall for this. What we're going to do is lift up our knee to our chest. And wherever your knee goes is fine. It's perfect just for you. Just gonna alternate. Again, I could pretend I have a ma an imaginary wall here to hold on to because it will throw your balance off. All right, good. A few more here, just warming up those knees, still the hips. Now we're gonna take that knee and just kind of step it out in a circle and out in a circle. We'll do like, I don't know, let's do six. So here we go. One, two, good. Three, four, five, and six. Excellent, okay. Now I'm gonna turn sideways for this next one. We're going to do a very tiny reverse lunge. So a lunge would be like this. We're not there yet. We're just gonna step back and tap, step back and tap. Still warming up those hips, okay? So let's get here and just alternate Stepping back, stepping back, good, right? So we weren't warmed up our arms, our chest a little bit, our hips. Now we're gonna start warming up those legs and the knees. 
Good. All right, let's do four more wherever you are. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. Great job. Okay. We are going to start picking up these weights. And again, we're going light. This is a beginner workout. And I want to show you what I call time under tension. You still get a really great workout using very light weights. So let's see, where do I want to start? We're going to start here. I call this my staggered stance, right? One foot in front of the other. This keeps me nice and stable. And my pelvis is, I don't, you don't want your butt sticking out. You don't want everything forward. You want it nice and nice and neutral. All right. We're going to do a side shoulder raise. We're going to take these up to about here and lower them down. We're going to do 10 of those and then we're going to switch our hands. So here we go. Let's go. One, two, good, three, four, I have three pounds right now, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Roll out those shoulders for a second. Anytime you feel tightness, stop and stop and roll, okay? We're going to lift those, sh those shoulders, those arms back up, flip our palms. I call this Popeye arms. It's a bicep curl, but we're keeping it up here in this plane. We're going to do 10 here. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, good, five, six, see what it feels like just keeping them up here, seven, eight, in space, nine, and ten. Great. Flip those palms and bring them back down. Good job. Good job. Okay. So now we are going to lift these up again, flip our palms over, and we're going to pulse out here for 10. All right. So we'll do it together. Here we go. We're going to lift them up to the side, flip them over and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Flip them back over and down. Right? We don't need really heavy weights for this because we're holding the weight out, out in front of us. All right, I'm going to turn to the side. We're going to take it into a high bicep curl. Our arms are extended forward. We're going to bend in and out for 10. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, keeping them high, four, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight, keep it going, two more, nine, and ten. All right, flip them back, drop them down. You never just want to let your weights go. Always bring them palms down and to the center of the body. That's really important, especially as the weights get heavier. You don't want to rip out your shoulders. Oh my goodness, no. All right, now we're going to take it into a front shoulder raise. Now, sometimes I'm going to give you a little trick that I do um, because I have this curvature in my back. I, sometimes I take my foot here and I give it a little tiptoe. This helps to put my pelvis in a really good neutral position. What we're going to do here, we're just going to lift the weights up and down for 10, okay? And I'm going to go in my little tiptoe. You could try it or you could keep your foot flat on the floor. Here we go for 10. One, two, good. Three, four, front shoulder raise, five, six, you got it, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. All right. Now we're going to throw in some core. Anytime we bring our arms up above our head, 
that activates our core. So now we're almost gonna mimic that same movement. We're gonna take that front raise, but we're gonna lift it all the way up, all the way down with slow control. Don't let it whoosh, fall on the way down, all right? How many do we have? 10, you got it. All right, you're catching on, here we go. All the way up, all the way down. That's one with control. Sometimes I do my little tiptoe. Two, three, good, four. And for using the five pound weights, yeah, you're gonna feel this. Six, full disclosure, I can never count correctly. Seven, eight, you got it, nine, last one, we're going to lower really, really slow, slow and controlled, here we go, toot, 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 you got it, nice and slow, all right, let's put those down, Kind of shake out your arms, maybe some nice arm circles, whatever we would feel good. We're going to take some lower body now, give the upper body a little break. So remember when we did those little tapping backs in our warm up? We're going to take it a little deeper now. So now we're going to step backward and down. What you want is you want this knee to bend. I always say, like you're, you're bowing to the queen. Yes, my queen. So think of that back knee trying to almost go to the floor. So again, it looks like this. Stepping back, coming center, stepping back, coming center. And go to your depth, really. Whatever you need to do, all right? We're gonna do 16 of these. Here we go. And I, I always hold my hand in prayer, one, Two, I never know where to put them. Three, good. Four, five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, doing a great job. Nine, 10, 11, 12. See there, I just shifted my hands again. 13. 14, 15, and last one, 16. So now we're gonna take it and we're going to step to the side, touch the ground. What I would like is for you to get this inner thigh stretch. So however far you can go, maybe you come here, maybe you touch the ground. Again, whatever works for you, we're gonna shift back and forth for 10. So it's gonna be one on this side, step together, one on this side, and really feel that, okay? Ready? All right, catch your breath, here we go. One, two, get that inner thigh stretch, good. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and last one is 10. Come to center. All right, great, great job. All right, so now <laughs> we're gonna take it, I call these sneaky because they're low. We're gonna stay low in this. I'm gonna turn sideways again. We're gonna, we're gonna be squatting down and staying really low. So look, we squat down and we step back and back. We're gonna do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. All right, I'm gonna face forward again. So let's come down low, wherever your low is. Step back, stay low, forward, all right? That was an example, here we go. One, two, you feel tension here, three on your quad, four, good, keep going, five, six, seven, yes, eight, nine, and ten, and come on up. Awesome, did you feel that right there? That's what we're going for, feeling that little burn today. All right, we've got the other side, 
Take it down, step it back. One, two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and up. All right, that's great. Get a sip of water. I should have told you to bring water. I'm just gonna step over here and get my timer. Hold on. I will be right back because I want to, yeah, I want to throw in a little cardio move just to get us going because this is like a full body. So I have my little timer that I use in a lot of my videos. It's set for 30 seconds. What we're going to be doing is what I call a football shuffle. So pretend you're a football player, you're on the football field. We're gonna tap and just tap and move around for 30 seconds. This is gonna get your heart rate up really quick. So depending on how fast or slow you wanna go, it's your 30 seconds, you decide, all right? But we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. All right, so get in that shuffle position on your mark, get set, and go. Shuffle, and we're just gonna shuffle. And yes, everything that can wiggle and jiggle will, and that's okay, right? We're getting in shape, and we're doing it together. All right, here we go. Sometimes, if you have room, you could travel around, travel around the room. You could go really fast, or you could even just tap. Whatever works for you, but don't stop. Look, I can go back and forth. We've got 30 seconds here, getting that heart rate up today. Boom, we're done. Great job. All right, I'm gonna leave my timer there just in case we use it again. All right, we're gonna go back to our weights. We're gonna pick them up for a second. And now we are going to come back and we're gonna come back out here, boop, to our Popeye arms. We're gonna do this now for 15. We're gonna do a set, you'll see. Yeah, yeah, 15. Here we go, ready? One, two, I changed my mind, 10, because we're gonna shift the arms. Three, I get to do that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 10, if the arms are tired, drop them down. If not, we're gonna bring them here to those high bicep curls now for 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, you got it. Five, keep it going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and we're not done. Watch this, I didn't show you this one. This is called serve the platter. You have a big platter, you're serving it, and you're taking it back. We're gonna do 10 of these, they're deceiving. Full disclosure, here we go. One, serve it forward. Two, three, you got it. Four, if you feel it in your back, do a little tiptoe. Five, six, we're almost there, seven, Eight, yes, nine, and 10. Ooh, bring them in, drop them down. That was really good. Circle them out for a second. Awesome, awesome. All right, we're gonna go back to the low body for a second. And we're just going to do some squats. Now, if your knees are saying, mm, I'm not really gonna squat, Laura, then I want you to take it here and just do this stationary, if that's better for you, okay? What we're gonna do, and you can just do those stationaries um, along while we're doing the squats. So here, we're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, hip width. We're gonna squat down and bring it up. We're gonna do 10, and then we're gonna do 10 halfway up. And you can do the same thing with the lunges. So here we go, we're gonna squat down and up. One, and squeeze the booty here. Two, booty squeeze. Three, good. 
four, and maybe your your um, squat is five, blah, 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 not as deep, six, whatever works, seven, eight, you got it, we got 10, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna go down and halfway up, down, halfway up, ready? Here we go, let's go down, one, halfway up, two, keeping that tension, three, four, good, five, six, seven, knees are going out, eight, we don't want them going in, nine, and 10, and bring it up. Ooh, how'd that feel? Good, right? Feeling our hips a little bit, our glutes, all right. Shake that out, shake that out. All right. Actually, I think I wanna go down on the floor. So I'm just gonna make sure you can see me if I go down on the floor, and it looks like you can. All right, come on down and join me on the floor. I'll give you a minute in case you need to set up your mat. Get ready. We're going to work what I call the back of the house. Some glutes, some hamstrings right now, right? So we get to lie down, just checking my camera angle here. All right, sometimes I have to adjust my pony when we get on the ground. We're going to do a set of hip lifts. So we're gonna go up and back down. Always want you looking up. I might look over to check at you. You always should be looking up to protect your neck. So we're going to put our hands down by our sides and we're going to push up through our heels and come back down. We're doing 20 of these. Ready? Here we go. One, and really try to feel two, your glutes and your hamstrings working. Three, make that mind muscle connection. Four, five, six, seven, you got it, eight, I'm checking on you, nine, squeeze it, 10, be one with the squeeze, 11, 12, you got it, 13, yes, I said 20, 14, 15, 16, I know you're starting to feel these, 17, 18, 19 and 20, good. Take those knees in, give yourself a little hug. Roll back and forth. This helps to massage that low back. I always wanna protect that low back. All right, that was so good. Watch this, we're gonna raise one leg and cross it over. <clears throat> and we're gonna do a one-legged hip lift now. It's gonna look like this, okay? 15 on one side, 15 on the other. Here we go. One, two, and if you can't cross it, just put it up here. Three, four, five, feel that glute working. Six, yes, the hamstring. Seven, eight, you got it. Nine, 10, 11, 12, almost there, 13, 14, and last one, 15. Ooh, baby. All right, bring that one in. Stretch it out. Good. All right, let's take it to the other side. Cross that other leg over, hands down by the side, and we're going up. Here we go, 15, one, two, three, good, four, really push through that heel, five, bring the body up, six, seven, do the ceiling, eight, nine, you're doing a great job, ten, five more here, let's count them down, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent, bring those knees back in, stretch it out, maybe a little legs up, ankles, all right, I'm gonna roll over, we're gonna sit up for a second, just wanna see how you guys are doing, doing good? All right, we're gonna add in a little core since we're on the floor, I'm gonna move a little bit closer, or maybe I'm not, I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little ab 
right? We did a little upper body today, a little lower body, um, and now we're gonna do a little core. So I like to call these toe tap abs. We're gonna lie back down. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head, but our hands are only here as a guide. We're, we're never crunching and pulling our chin, right? My hands are here, but they're just grazing my head. So a toe touch is we're gonna take our toes and we're gonna walk them close, close to our booty. We're gonna come in. The goal is to nice tiny ball, but if we're just beginning, maybe it's here. Whatever it looks like for you is fine, fine, fine. All right, we're gonna do, let's go 15 of these, okay? Toe tap abs, so let me just finish that. We come in, we tap down, and we come back up. That's why we call them toe tap. All right, here we go. Get yourself ready. We have 15 on your mark, get set, and go. One, two, three, good, four, and really be in the middle here, five, wherever your middle is, for a second, six, and feel that squeeze, seven. It's not about going fast, eight, it's about feeling, nine, 10, 11, 12, you got it, 13, 14, and last one here, 15. Really great job. Okay, now we're going to reverse that. So we're going to more focus on the, the lower portion of the ab, but still the whole ab front of the body. So we're gonna lift up our knees. I like to roll back and forth. That helps to flatten your low back. And we're gonna roll tiny. Tiny, all right? We're gonna shoot for 15 of those. Here we go, let's go. One, it's called a reverse curl. Two, three, it's a tiny movement. Four, five, and try to roll down real slow. Six, that's it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, we've got five more. Five, four, three, I'm feeling it. Two, last one here, one. Great job. Give yourself a nice little hug there. Roll back and forth. All right, we've got one last core exercise for today. We're gonna to put our feet up to the ceiling. All we're gonna do is walk, walk, walk our fingers up as high as we can go and walk them back down. Let's slide them back down, all right? So we're gonna do 15 of these. Here we go. Walk, 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 and back down. One, two. Again, it's really slow. Three, it's about feeling that contraction. Four, if you wanna cradle your head with your other arm for support, five, that works. Six, walk, 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 and feel this contraction. Seven, you got it. Eight, we're almost there. Nine, we're going to 15. 10, that's it, come on, come on. 11, 12, 13, walking two more here. 14, and last one, 15. I've been hanging around my grandson too long. Okay, so now we're just gonna take it and stretch. We're gonna drop our knees to one side, our arms and our head to the other, get a nice stretch across the body. And then when you're ready, take it to the other side. You guys did a great job today on our workout. We did a little upper, a little lower, a little core, and one cardio move, right? All right, next thing, just bring those legs up, pull them in, 
Get a nice little stretch there. Maybe rotate your ankles. Deep breath in and exhale. All right, roll to the side, sit on up, and we're gonna finish right here. You did a great job, so proud of you, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, bye-bye.